a restaurant in Sevierville wasn't prepared for the health inspector's visit. Here is Don Dare and Food for Thought. The lowest scoring restaurant has a failing score. There are a number of risk factor violations there that could potentially cause foodborne illness. The grade is a 67 at Don Marco's Kitchen 2 on Winfield Dunn Parkway in Sevierville. That 67 is a failing score. Any grade below 70 is failing. Well, the inspector has returned and we'll have that follow-up report in just a moment. During the initial check, there were several hygiene violations. The inspector watched a kitchen worker handle dirty dishes. Then the worker picked up clean dishes without first washing his hands. That same kitchen employee was also observed taking the trash out. And when he came back into the kitchen, he didn't wash his hands. The inspector also writes, the cook placed bacon onto a pan with his bare hands. Gloves are required to be worn in kitchens at all times. There's more. A large container of cooked pasta and raw chicken in the kitchen's pull-out drawer. They were between 57 and 59 degrees, but 41 and below is the safe required cool temperature to prevent the growth of bacteria. On the other end of the temperature scale, marinara sauce was only at 77 degrees, but 135 and above is the safe hot temperature. Finally, the person in charge, the manager, when asked questions about basic health standards, he couldn't answer them. Well, Don Marco's Kitchen 2 has been reinspected. All of the original critical violations were corrected, and the new grade, as you see right here, is a 98. No need for any second inspections at the top scoring restaurants, and here are the best grades of the week. The Pizza Palace on Magnolia Avenue in Knoxville, 100. The Metro Pizza in Alcoa on Hunter's Crossing Drive, 100. In Sevierville, Chipotle Mexican Grill on the Parkway is perfect. In Oneida, The Roost for the second time in a row scores 100. In Dandridge for the fourth time in a row, Verardi's on the Lake receives a perfect grade. 100. Five Guys, the one in Powell, receives a 99. The Busy Cracker Barrel in Alcoa also has a score of 99. And Hardy's of Sneedville on Main Street in Hancock County scores a 98. Health inspection reports are unannounced and they're done on a regular basis every six months. Don Dare covering Food for Thought. And if you'd like to look over all of this week's health inspection scores for yourself, we've made that easy for you to do. They are all under the As Seen On section at WATE.com.